Okay, so we're gonna go back to like super basic here. Okay. Um, Mount. Obviously, there's some bad things that can happen here. Um, if he's the higher up, he is the worst for me. My power is gone, and my arms are separated. So he's got arm attacks, and he's got stroke attacks, and all that stuff. So I need to have him on my hips, on my source of power. Okay. Um, so I can start start escaping. Okay. Um, I don't want to be flat on my back either because. Um, he has the most control over me when I'm on my back. Okay, so I want to try to get to my side as much as possible. Okay, and now I want to kind of get out of the frame of mind where you have to explode and bridge to get on your side. You know, jujitsu is about conserving energy and wearing the other person out more. Like the very basic, fundamental, you know, thought of jujitsu is to wear the other person out and to burn less energy than the other person, and then you can do whatever you need to do. So keep control of the other person, let them burn energy. Okay, so here, I want to get to my side. So I'm not going to just explode and get to my side, because what if, you know, the person's heavier and um, ha they have good control. So I'm just going to make little little bumps and just an effort to just get to my side, really. So I need, first I need to get a, a pick a side that I'm going to go to, and get that leg flat. So, if he's got his hook in, um, an easy way to do that is just take your opposite leg, even if he's got his other hook up on the other leg, it's fine. Um, take your opposite leg and put it on their foot. Straighten, pin it to the mat, put your, your leg that you want to straighten over your foot, and then move it, then your leg's flat. Now you want to get to your side, so you want to create your frame in front of their hips. And all this frame is doing, you're not pushing, all this frame is doing is keeping them on your hips. Okay, that's it. I don't want, yeah, this is here. That's it, I'm not forcing him like this. I'm just keeping my arm like right now. He's not pushing forward, I'm relaxed. The second he pushes forward, I tense up a little bit just to keep him there. That's it. Okay, so then I get to my, my side. And it's really not any more than that. That's all I need to do. It's all you need. You're on your side. You obviously don't want to be like this because then your back is exposed, okay? So, I'm just a little bit on my side here. That's all I need, okay? My frame on my bottom hand, my bottom arm, is trying to, is in between my ribs and his knee. So once I'm on my side, I try to get that in between there, okay? Then, from here, all we're gonna do is get our top, we can use, you want him kind of going forward. Like this, okay? And then if I'm here, my top leg comes over, digs his heel over my bottom leg. And see how my leg fills that gap there? That's it. I can frame with my, my elbow, bring my knee up. And then switch my hips to underneath. Now notice that I have access to my other pretty easily. And then we can work our underhook, uh, you know, our, our half guard to save us up in there that we did, uh, you know, a couple months ago or a month ago or so. Or, we're already on our other side. We can just simply get about, bring our knee through, bring the knee all the way over our hips over the other side, and get to guard. That's some basic hip to see okay? So we frame here, get our leg flat on the inside. Bump up to get to our hips, our hip on our side a little bit. Then we can use our other leg, step over and curl, and really bite this leg. Keep this trapped, okay? Use your, your elbow, bring your leg through. Now from here, I'm not just going to sit here. I see my hips all the way out to the other side, okay? I still have this other hook too. So if I want to, I can go to the back if I need to. Or if you've got a wizard, you know, start working, you know, all this other stuff. All the other stuff that we did, your feet, your half guard, all that stuff. Okay, but from here, after we hit the escape, I'm just gonna stay here, frame on his other other <coughs> knee, bring my hip, my, my leg through. Then bring my hips all the way back over to the other side to free my leg, and you're back out. 
It's that simple. Is there any questions on that? Really, really keep that frame like this the whole time here. Okay. It might be the hardest part is get into your side, but it's not. Again, it's not explosive. You're not really looking to explode out of this. Really, you don't have to. I waste energy if you don't have to, right? If he's choking me right now, then I'm going to have to do something about it. You know, you're going to have to explode to get out of something. But if he's not, I'm hanging out, and I can take my time. You know, I keep his hips away, away from me, and then I start working my escape. Okay? Get to my side, overhook, here. Bring my leg through. See, now I still have his leg trap. If I'm just doing like this, you know, it's nothing for him to step over. So my leg's trapped, trapping his leg, so I can free my hips to here. Then I can throw my leg over, free my knee, scoop my hips out, and go back. Okay. Questions on that? Super basic, but something that we all need to be very proficient at. I got one book. Yeah. Can you shoot that under hook? Is this going to be up high with it or down yeah. low? Yep. Then... High. I'm going to start here. Right? Uh, yeah, so I escape and I get to here. When I turn to here, I want to have this happen. Okay? I don't have the hook like this, so I'm going to grab it out of the back. But I like to keep my elbow pointed up like this. It makes it harder for them to wizard, number one. Plus, it helps keep the weight. If you smash me right now, my heart is slow. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of bad for me. But if you that high, it's hard for him to smash me. Unless it opens up the avenue for me to come out the back if I want. Okay, so if you have an underhook, it's good to have an underhook, but if you're here and lace with it, it's, it's not doing you much good. So you're here and active with it. You're always active with your underhook. Always. Okay, and I just have it rest in your arm. Okay, even if he's not a wizard here, I want to kind of stay active with my underhook. That's it. I'm going to just let him have a wizard and keep my arm back. Okay. So staying active. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I'm pointing my elbow up. And then you can start taking the back. Because there's, you know, you have to go to guard and come up the back. Okay. Questions? You're always actively locking down that foot. <laughs> always. <laughs> one, one, one of your legs is always over that leg. Okay, let's give it a shot. So just up like this. I'm it's going to be a little bit difficult to do this escape because all of his weight is here and I would have to fight a lot to get uh, my knee underneath his knee and all that stuff. So I do want him forward. So even if, if, you know, if I have to knee him in the butt or even you know, keeping my arms in, just pull him forward a little bit with my hips, I want to get him going forward. So that way not all of his weight is on his hips. You know, his weight's dispersed a little bit. This way, okay? So, we're here, I got my frame, okay? Uh, if he has a hook in both of my, say he's got hooked like that, um, it's okay if, like, one of them is, um, one of them is in. As long as you have the one that you're going for is flat, that's what you're really looking for, okay? So you get, you get the one flat, and you bump, bump to your side a little bit, and you're still here, you're framing, you have your frame in front of his hips, um, your elbow's in, okay? Yeah, I don't want my elbow out to where he slides up like that. My elbow stays in, so it keeps him there, right? So now I'm trying to like dig his, dig his foot, and uh, it, it might be hard sometimes. Maybe I can't reach it, or, uh, you know, it, it's just kind of difficult. So here's a couple little tips for that. Um, one, you can start, if you can't really reach it, you can use your bottom bottom knee and push his leg out a little bit. And that makes it a little bit easier just to do with your heel and turn and uh, pull his heel over. Okay? Not, not a ton, just, just a little bit to make it accessible. And then you're there. Okay, and then you can bite. And it's really important too, if you get a good bite on this, it's really just a matter of turning your hips. It's not, doesn't take much. Here, I can use my hips. So it lifts his knee up a little bit, and then I can use my elbow. And scoot on each side. Okay? Another tip, too, is once I'm on my side, um, I'm here, and maybe I, I just 
none of this is working for me. What you can do, can you put your weight on my, on my hips? Thank you. One thing you can do uh, is a little bit of a bridge to lighten this up. So keeping my frame, I'm bridging up and over the shoulder. See how that lightens his knee up a little bit? So I go up and over the shoulder and that makes a little bit of space for me to get my knee out. That's all I really need. And then I switch my hips underneath. Keep it, keep it uh, active. Okay, if you notice too, when I was here, I got my other hook and I was like this. I'm going to clear, clear his arm so I can get an active underhook. Okay, I want my underhook to be high. Okay, and then you can work on everything else. Okay, so you lay over the back, come in here, work trap here, bring your leg out. Or, take it back. Okay. So that's just a couple more tips for you guys to uh, to work on. If you're having trouble getting out that one side, you know, you're here. Okay, I can't hit this, so I can use my knee to scoot it, scoot it out a little bit. Move that. If neither of those are working, Fran, I'm gonna just bump up on that shoulder. Just enough. It doesn't have to be a huge, uh, go back it doesn't have to be a huge explosive thing. It's here, that's it, it's a bump. Just enough. And then immediately, over the other side, I'm working that under hook um, on my other side. Okay, I don't want to take my time to get to my other side. Once I'm, once I'm through, here. once I'm here, I'm not just going to hang out here. Because it's, it has a cross face, yeah, my shoulders are flat. So once I get through, I'm taking all the way to my other side, framing this other leg, keeping it away. Okay. Any questions on those those details? It's just a couple little tips on that particular step. No. Okay. Another few more times.